G'day, Stu here from Movie Futures and welcome to another episode of Tech Tuesday where every Tuesday we aim to show you guys some new cool emerging technology in the FPV drone racing world and today we really have something pretty exciting. So what we're looking at, this is FPV Blue and this is a digital HD FPV transmission system. So what that means when you're flying around, we're going to be able to get some juicy HD footage streamed directly to our goggles. Now this is pretty exciting because in the past most of us fly around with analog, we all want better FPV solutions. So uh, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be putting this bad boy on the bench, having a quick squeeze at some of its features and sort of how it comes. All right, let's jump in and get started. Alrighty, so here's everything you sort of get on the bench. And look, this isn't a detailed, in-depth review. This is just sort of a Tech Tuesday first look. We're going to have a quick squeeze because there's quite a lot of stuff that I need to set up and really test this properly. And we will be doing some future videos. But let's have a look at what we actually get. So we've got our receiver over here, which is a diversity receiver. It comes with two antennas. So I'm going to put those to the side. So uh, you notice, look at the size of these things. This, they're absolutely massive but that's important because this doesn't operate you know that's kind of something special this doesn't operate on the usual 5.8 gigahertz frequency which is what most of us on our analog pilots out there most of us are flying around on now over here this is where you've got some antennas so these are the parts we're going to actually be mounting to our quad or to our airplane because I'm not too sure what I want to put this on because look at the size it is a little bit different you notice they're in a bit of a strange shape and I think I do like the way these antennas they look a lot better in my opinion than uh, some of the connex or the pro site systems that are out there because those other ones are absolutely monsters. So these things look pretty cool. So we'll put those to the side and then we've got the goods right here. So here's the FPV HD, FPV Blue HD transmitter. Now the first thing a lot of people are going to notice, look at the size difference. So we've got our camera, which is, you know, a similar HS 1177 size. That's not too much of a biggie, but look at our VTX. This thing, it's pretty big, especially when every single gram matters. And look what we've got here. This is the TBS Unify Pro, arguably one of the best analog VTXs on the market. So uh, the problem is, this thing is significantly bigger. So if we put them on the scales, let's find out how much it weighs. And look, this is just an idea. I don't actually want to uh, detach my ribbon cable because that was a little bit fiddly to get in there. So just like that, that unit's 47 grams compared to this bad boy coming in at six grams. So there is a massive weight difference. So if you want to put this thing on your FPV racing quad, I think you'd have a little bit of a hard time because it is significantly heavy, but I don't think that's the market that it's going after. Because what this does, this is a real time HD digital FPV system. So this is sort of where I want our technology to go in the future. It's very, very exciting because analog has some big problems. Look, our range is pretty terrible. Uh, you can't have more than a few pilots in the air at once. A lot of the channels bleed into other channels. It doesn't penetrate well through like some bushes or water or metal or anything like that. Hopefully, digital can be a lot more reliable in the future because they, look, this is all early development and this is just an early model, but you know, I'm really excited for digital HD systems because I would love to fly around in HD. That's probably the biggest thing too. This thing, it's all on standard definition. With this bad boy, you can actually have a 720, 60 frames per second stream. Now, great feature of this, because it operates on the 1.3 gigahertz frequencies, you're gonna get some crazy long range because a big limitation of the 5.8, it's just such a short wavelength that gets really easily disrupted. This bad boy, 1.3, that should go a very, very long way. I think they've got like seven miles. I'll link a website down below, up to seven miles flying around. So uh, that's pretty good. And when you fly this thing out, apparently the image quality doesn't deteriorate. It just streams back your 720, 60 frames per second the whole time. Now, a huge problem for these systems is the latency because uh, that's really why I haven't made the switch. And I think they're still working on that over at FPV Blue. Time will tell how this sort of industry goes in the future because the good thing about analog it's extremely fast, and especially on your race drone, you need a minimum latency so you can get around the course, react quickly to obstacles. These bad boys, they're a little bit slower, so you're actually gonna notice a little bit of latency when you're flying around. This one's pretty comparable to the Connex or the Pro site. I'll link a chart on the screen. It looks like they've done a bunch of testing. Look, that's just what their website says. But if you wanna have a look at that data, I'll flash that on the screen. You can see, look, it's pretty comparative to uh, the other HD systems out there. Now look, this thing is packed full of features. I'm pretty excited where its development's gonna go. I'll leave a link to all the sort of stuff about it down below. Tech Tuesdays are just a quick sort of look, but definitely in the future, we're going to be delving in. We're going to be doing a lot more tests of long range missions, putting it on a racing cord, finding out the latency, maybe putting it on a wing and doing some long range stuff and seeing, you know, what is all this HD FPV hype? And is this a product that, you know, might be changing, might be a game changer for our industry. Alrighty, there it is. There's my Tech Tuesday, a first look at the FPV Blue HD wireless FPV system. So many acronyms, but uh, I'm pretty excited about what the future holds 
holds because look, I, this might not be suitable for our FPV race drones, but maybe one day this is the first sort of baby steps we need to get there in the future because I would love some HD FPV and I would love to get flying around with my friends, but also with some lower latency. So definitely stay tuned because look, in Tech Tuesdays, that's exactly what they are. We get together, we have a quick squeeze at some new technology. This is new technology and we're definitely going to be doing some more experiments, some more reviews and more in-depth videos because uh, I'm pretty excited about this little thing. Anyway, I'll drop a whole bunch of links down below for some more detailed information on the FPV Blue system. What do you guys think about it? Hope you enjoyed that little Tech Tuesday first look. Subscribe for more FPV related content and as always, happy flying. Alrighty, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel and check out these videos. And I'm also going to leave a little link here to my Patreon page because I've got some fantastic Patreon supporters and I like to give back to them as well. So if you want to join the UAV Futures family, there's things like bonus Velcro straps, little bundles of FPV goodies and things like that that also get sent out. Anyway, happy flying.